It's 413 right now, a mission to save lives. A local man invents a first of its kind helmet that he hopes will encourage more bicyclists to wear headgear. That's right, it looks just like a baseball cap. Very stylish. NBC 10's Jerry Clark reports a crash involving his sister is what inspired his invention. At first glance, it looks like a baseball cap, but this is a bicycle helmet. It's sleek, stylish, and according to its designer, one of the safest helmets you can buy. Helmets are uncomfortable, they're big, they're bulky, they're not portable, and they don't look good. David Hall and his business partner Jordan Klein, two former SpaceX engineers, have created a new one-of-a-kind helmet that they believe will inspire more people to wear the life-saving headgear. We've shown not only does it is safe as a conventional helmet, at times it can be even safer. Mm -hmm. The helmet bears the brand name Park and Diamond. It's a location near the Temple University campus that's deeply personal and once very painful to David. Right here at the intersection of Park and Diamond, three years ago, my sister was riding her bike when she was hit by a car. 22-year-old Rachel Hall, a member of Temple University's lacrosse team, was hit and nearly killed. The driver who hit her left the scene but would later turn himself in. Rachel was rushed to the hospital with severe head trauma. She was not wearing a helmet. She spent four months in a coma, and miraculously, she survived. What really came out of that while she was recovering and continues to recover is just the question, why wouldn't you wear a bike helmet? He knew he had to engineer a helmet that people would wear. They started a crowdfunding effort on Indiegogo, raising more than a million dollars. And then there was this well-produced, wildly successful YouTube video. And not only does our helmet meet all of the federal regulations, it surpasses that. The statistic is staggering. More than 90% of bicycling fatalities occur when the rider is not wearing a helmet. Yet in almost any big city or small town in America, you'll find people riding with no protection, putting their lives on the line every day. And usually they won't wear a helmet for two reasons. It's uncomfortable and inconvenient. So here you have the helmet, you see it's form fitting, it collapses like that, and then it pops back up. The collapsible cap costs just under $100, but the true value, David says, is in its protection. Rachel is still recovering and she remains a big source of inspiration and she's happy her brother turned her tragedy into advocacy. Dre Clark, NBC 10 News.